AFC and NFC Championship Week, guys. Welcome to Trial Hours Gaming today. Madden 24, Wheel of Franchise, Episode 25, and Bengals, Bills on the AFC side, the Seattle Seahawks, and the Dallas Cowboys here on the NFC side. Of course, both the first round bye teams have made it through with the Bengals and Hawks, and the three seed for the Bills and the two seed for the uh, Cowboys have made it through. So it'll be interesting. Hopefully, we can beat the Cowboys today, guys. Um, I actually got worried for a second because I simmed the training, right? And it showed like Gino picked up an injury or it looked like he did. But when I go to the injury report, Charbonnet and Uluwatomi are the only ones missing one more week. So they'll come back for the Super Bowl. Uh, so Gino looks like he didn't get injured. I, it looked like he did when I was simming it. So I was afraid for a second, but he's fine. Um, honestly, guys. All we can do is wrap up here. I have two play my ways. I am going to use one of them here um, to kind of just play however I want. That doesn't mean we don't have a challenge reel because play my way indicates I get to play however I want in the game. There is a situation where that does not apply. Let's actually talk about it with the challenge reel because... The challenge reel has one thing on it that causes an issue. Sim the game this week does not let me play at all. It lets me sim. That's the only way this whole thing goes sideways. So let's find out. All right, comments suggest a challenge three. There is any comments, but I'm playing my way. So that's kind of a, 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 a null and void. That's fine. I'll take that null and void, truthfully. Um, but yeah, we're going to be able to play our way. We have some upgrades. Abraham Lucas. Boost power a little bit. Line up to an 81. That's what we'd like to see. Plus one strength. Okay, only 86 strength. So, you know. Tyler Crawford. Go up an improviser. Him and Gino are actually the same overall. Uh, you know, I, you'd think I would have started the rookie at some point, but... And then Bill Elliott, who had a couple of decent blocks and stuff, also came in as our fullback, I think, gained experience from... No, that was Fitzsimmons. Well, the rookie goes up to 72. That's great to see. Um, but yeah, here we go. I get to play my way against the Dallas Cowboys. Here we go, guys. It's time to get into this. Episode 25 is it's cracked. Here we go. NFC Championship time. Gino Dak. Let's do this. So I get to play however I want. So if I lose this, it's either because the game wanted me to lose or I just did not play well enough. Sullivan, fumble recovery. Bell. Seahawks immediately have the ball. Kenneth Walker is here. Let's go. Get an early lead. Let's hit this thing strong. Nothing there. Doesn't lose anything. Doesn't gain anything. Yeah, I forgot. Do have to watch out for Micah Parsons. He's such a great player. They have, you know, they have some great players on this team. I do have to watch out for them. McIntosh comes in, which means it looks like our... Uh, our unfortunate situation of our running backs disappearing is happening. Can I hit Metcalf here? Oh, what was that, Fitzsimmons? No, we're not going for points here. We're going for it. Okay. No, No, come on, Macintosh. You blew it, man. Fuck. If only we had our actual running back, man. See, this is the gameplay sabotage shit that is absolutely ruins this game for me. Tariq Wolin with the worst coverage I've ever fucking seen. Some room to operate as they've got it first and ten now out past the 
I mean. Massive sack. Second 22. Gonna keep stuff in front of us. I mean, no, complete bullshit. This, this whole taking away our running back thing, I hope does not stay a thing. Third and four. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's let's cover all these holes. Damn it. The coverage has been shit, man. Hicks just does nothing there. What was that? And Jaron Reed's hurt. That's fantastic. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this game has decided to screw us right from the get-go, man. That's unfortunate. They're taking away our star running back, not due to injury, but just because it's like the dumbest thing ever. God damn it, dude. Shit is missing left and right. Just throws it out the back end. That's smart. Damn it, man. Yeah, I should have stepped up sooner. I was checking for the crossing route there just to try to follow. Yep. This whole game would have been different, though, if we had our actual X-Factor running back on the field and not being th literally glitched down to our third string. It's, it's fucking pathetic. It is. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all. Look like Axford got hurt. So Jake Bobo's coming in as fourth. You gotta make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you gotta be ready to go. And the team of course loves to see Pick up a first tier with Macintosh. Yeah, I'm not liking this man. Seriously, big game. Yeah, I just... The way I'm not allowed to use my actual running back that would make a difference. And I'm going down to a 60 rated one because the game has screwed me. Not because of injury, not for any other reason other than the game just isn't putting him in no matter what I do. It's just the dumbest fucking thing. And it puts the fattest of asterisks on if Dallas wins. It puts the biggest asterisks ever. Because now it's like, okay, yeah, if Dallas wins this game, it's because the game again decides to screw me. So. And when it gets to that point where it's like, okay, those things matter. 
Just like picks up the first. Because if I have K9 there, it's a completely different game. You know, no, no offense to my running back, a Macintosh is not an X factor that, you know, if I get it turned on, as Truss won't be able to fumble, you know, but instead he disappears and I don't even get a chance to try to use that. So. Come on, Fitzsimmons, you can block for half a second. And we have to come away with a touchdown here. There's literally no other option. Come on, Disley, you piece of shit, man. God damn, dude, Disley. No, we're not fucking no. No, we're not. This this game is wanting me to lose. JSN, clutch again. Oh, Eskridge is in it because it shows him on special teams there. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm I'm absolutely just gutted by the stupidity of this game right now. Kicks, good tackle, only allows two there. I just. You know, I don't know about this. Let's bring down the strong safety. Come on, dude. I'm not reading any of this shit right. I'm, I'm just, I'm flustered because I'm fucking absolutely pissed that they keep taking away my running back. Just throws it away. That's fine. Damn, I was hoping that ball would come out. I'm, yeah, I'm just, I know I'm quiet, and I'm, I want to try to capture all the gameplay and everything, I just, getting fucked, I'm recording a lot of these episodes in the same day, and getting absolutely fucked by having my star running back just removed, it, it's, it's devastating, it is. What a grab. All right, third and eight. This can be a, a, a this is a deciding moment here. And of course, nobody is cub in coverage trying to actually cover him. I don't think zones to play. We're gonna go to ban here. They're not gonna run a ball. They are. Wow. Two minute warning. Oh no! What are you doing, Jamal Adams? God damn, Adams. It's a shit, man. That should have been an interception. Yeah, you fucked it, man. Players are not being clutch right now when I need them to. Damn, 
And I fucked that. God damn it, Adams. Yeah, this game is just not wanting me to win this match. I mean, right there, that should have been an interception 100%. Bullshit would take my running back away. And that makes the score 14 to 7. A 10 play I, do. I hate this shit. I do. This playing this kind of shit and seeing these bugs and shit makes me absolutely not want to do Madden 25. And it, it's just it's fucking horrible. It is. Because it makes me lose all my excitement. It does. It makes me not want to work on different things and it's yeah. Fucking stupid getting fucked by this. Throwing now is Gino. What the fuck, man? How are they blocking him? This game has decided I am not gonna win. This game has straight up decided by bullshit stuff that I'm not gonna win. Like, what the fuck? Lockett actually does something awesome. And I guess Lockett's slow. Okay, that makes no sense, but okay. I don't want to leave a lot of time left, so we are going to start to run here. <sighs> Come on, guys, you need to actually fucking block. <sighs> kind of literally unplayable right now, to be honest. A part of me hopes I lose so I don't have to play with another bullshit game. Now. Shouldn't have ran there. Should have just tried to take a shot. <sighs> Metcalf sneaks in. 18 seconds left. This is just deflating, man. This entire game has been deflated like the fucking bugs just need to stop and i fucking misclicked fantastic i'm gonna go deep just try to cover everything they tackle try to keep it in bounds And yeah, they'll go to the half, and we get the ball. Man, it'd be great if we had our X-Factor running back. I'm going to do run inside to just try to give better blocking. And defend the short pass, I guess. Probably the medium pass I should have tried to defend, but... All right, that's good. So let's do this. Oh, and Eskridge does. Holy crap. Deron Bland can't catch up. He's quick, though. There we go. We take the lead right at the bat. Our defense is going to have to come out and see if they can't make a stop and let's really extend this thing. It'd be great if we had our running back. But you know what? Eskridge stepped up again. That's what we need. He's been doing great in the playoffs. Um, he did great in the final season game. Actually, it's probably the last four weeks he's been great. Gonna kneel. Yep. Yeah, I overkicked that. Here comes Dak. Yeah, this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven. Hicks, good hit, only gain a one for Pollard. And they need to take a good, relaxing deep okay. Because right now, Again, we want to just try to keep things in front of us. And start matching them point for point. Um, it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Oh, Hicks completely misses there. That should have been a tackle, Hicks. Third and four, they're probably going to throw here. I don't think zone coverage is the play for when they're throwing. I 
Uh, yeah, we are more of a man scheme anyways. What the fuck, Gibson? God damn it. This is this is so frustrating. Like, do your fucking jobs. <sighs> right now, my defense is playing like absolute shit. And it's fucking annoying. Don't get have a running back. Like, everything is stacked against us. The thing's not even giving us a damn shot. Taken at the goal line. Our defense needs to fucking step up or we've lost this game. Start this drive out on the McIntosh picks up a first. I'm, I'm not really worried about our offense too much. I mean, it fucking sucks we don't have our X-Factor running back and it is pissing me off. Because it's this is the fourth game now during crucial times, and the game's just decided that we don't deserve a fair shot. Like that sabotage. That's the game actively sabotaging me and this this whole thing. And I'll tell you what, if this happens in Madden 25, I'm done with Madden. You know, I might just be done with EA in general. Fuck EA, man. Because it's pathetic. It's absolutely fucking pathetic. This, this shit should not be happening. At all. Get another first, but yeah, I mean, it just it puts a giant asterisk and ruins this entire end of the season because it's like, you know, if it's like okay, players getting hurt. Okay, I understand if Kenneth Walker got hurt, but he's not. The game is just actively sabotaging by not having him there. No, I should just gain the extra yardage, but whatever. Like, it's, it, it's just fucking annoying. It absolutely is. Like, with how much shit's gone wrong, having more shit pile on that goes wrong in a video game, which I'm supposed to try to enjoy, fuck you, you know? Fuck the devs behind it, too. Because, like, yeah, it's, it's fucking frustrating. Horrible blocking, guys. Good shit, you're worthless. Does make <sighs> Disley? Thank you for holding on for once. So we have the late again, and the question is, can our defense actually do anything? Probably not, because our defense has been shit this game. Special teams was the one that forced the fumble. Wasn't defense. I mean, maybe special teams can step up here. Oh, there we go. And Bell stepped out of bounds. No. It's all right. We have the ball back. This is the moment. See, special teams stepped up. Our defense is it, but special teams is. Come on, McIntosh. McIntosh, touchdown. A lead has formed. This could be it. Special teams stepped up when defense didn't. Can now the question is, can defense step up? Can the defense step up when we need it to? Like, drain clock, you know. Because right now, it's it's frustrating. I hope if we get to the Super Bowl, it does not take away Kenneth Walker for that game. Because I, I could not imagine playing and losing with our star running back just sitting there twiddling his thoughts. That didn't even look like a catch. That looked like Pollard, like volleyball smacked it down. All right, we're going to go cover two man here. Because I feel like we need to. I don't know why I feel like I don't know if it's a good thing I'm feeling like that. Okay. Kind of an off throw. I usually don't like that. Let's just switch it to a cover two. All right, guys, everyone, please man up. Oh, 
Oh. Good smackdown. The defense shows up. They are going to punt. This is our moment. We can start to burn the clock. We can take this game fully and take the reins. God damn, dude. I just wonder how different any of these games would be if we had Kenneth Walker out there and he was able to establish himself, turn his X Factor on, and we didn't have to worry about fumbling. We had our X Factor running back out there who is a key focal point of our game. And like I would, like I said, if it was injured, Kenny McIntosh just got injured. Back to Keith Smith. Like, it'd be different if Kenneth Walker was injured. Because then I'd be like, okay, he's injured. It's... Is that Dexter Lawrence? Yeah, yes it is. Shit. Yep, we no longer even have a decent running back. So, uh, we're going to have to throw against the Dallas Cowboys. Eskridge. Big, big. Kenneth Walker, yeah, I would love to see him. I've tried to move him up and down the depth chart. I've done other stuff, guys, and it just does nothing works. It's like he doesn't even exist for this team. And what's funny, we had the same problem with Lions franchise. I have not had this issue once personally playing. Like, I don't know why it only, it only seems to happen when I'm recording a series. Because it doesn't happen when I play regularly. I don't know, man. All right, Gino. Your time to sign, buddy. Let's find a target and hit it. Metcalf. And there we go, we pick it up, first and 10. Gino's clutching up near this end. We are gonna still run it to try to establish clock time. You know, cause we can't throw incompletions, but you know. Oh, Smith, there we go. Eight yards, that's big. He's averaging two yards, but you know what? Against this Cowboys defense with this bad Seahawks offensive line, I will take that. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here Ah, uh, Charles Cross just got hurt. No, sweet feet. Why? Hopefully it's not anything major before the Super Bowl. All right, Smith, I'm going to trust you to pick up this first. I don't know why I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Let's just take the ball. Get our offense off the field and just let them rest. Myers kicks through the uprights and uh Yep. Oh, Leary will come in. Okay, five minutes left in the fourth. We have a decent lead. We have a, a technically a three-score lead, or technically a two-score lead if they go for two-point conversions again. Oh my God, that was horrible. That's right. We're just going to man up deep, keep everything in front of us, and uh, yeah. Oh my God, Paula dropped it. Now we're getting lucky. That's there, there was some unlucky drops there. The Panthers had a couple near the end. So it seems like the game really heavily tries to screw us sometimes. And then they make up for it randomly near the end. But not always. Oh, another drop. I mean, there was pressure that time, but that was just another straight up drop. That's... Honestly, I thought that was a catch. I was like, okay, they gained some yards. We're going to tackle. Dak tries to rush, gets hit. He gains a yard, though, so it wasn't a sack. They got to go for it, and yes, they do. They have to. 
Tackled inbounds, that will help drain some clock off. I'm fine with that. As long as we keep things from not going out and we get a control kind of the tempo of the game by letting stuff fall in front of us that we can make tackles. Big sack by Calvin Bridges. The rookie steps up there. That's massive. Big hit by Cummings. Oh, it's out of bounds. Dak missed through that. I don't think we blitz. I don't think that's the play. Another big hit. That's what we want to see. Okay, 2.35 left. Obviously, everyone has timeouts. Got to watch this closely. Got to watch this closely. Keep stuff in front of us. Not nah, play stupid. First and ten, that's fine. First down is a tackle made at the eighteen. From the red zone now, Prescott. Cummings big hit. It's gonna be two minute warning. The likelihood of a comeback is slim, but not impossible. Because we don't have a running back that can really just burn clock successfully. Especially with the Cowboys D-line. There's the touchdown they needed. It's Jake Ferguson. Yeah, I, like I keep saying, and it, I, it, it does piss me off, and I'm trying not to get pissed about it, but... Um, not having your X-Factor star running back as an option due to no reason at all is devastating. It's always going to be an onside kick. I'm going to take a timeout. I totally didn't think because I was talking. Uh, let's go hands team. Hands team. Three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And Jake Bobo has it, and he will go down in this. They still have three timeouts. We need, we need at least a first. No, oh, that was not a pretty face. McIntosh is in, so that's big. So at least we do have a true running back. We pick up five there. That's fine. We're not running a fullback, so that's something. Um, take the first timeout. Take the second. Do I just burn all three? And because we have a 10 point lead, trust my defense? I think so. I think so. Macintosh almost. Oh, the field goal can burn this out. And we should be able to easily get this. And it's good. Okay. So we're going to give it back to them, obviously. Um, but that's big because obviously that pushes it out of realm of likelihood. If they score a quick TD, which this team can, I mean, we've seen it before. Good tackle. Yeah, we need to keep everything, absolutely everything in front of us. Seven for 116 TD. CD land's tough to cover. Yeah, just man up three. Uh, you mean. Um, Cummings, thank you. Super Bowl hopes hanging by a thread as they come up on first down. Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. Yeah, they gotta hurry up. We still will just cover everything deep. Now Prescott. Uh, the incompletion probably helps him because it stops the clock, actually. Yeah, we're gonna go quarters. They get the first, the clock's ticking. 
And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Here's Prescott. Get out of bounds. That's big for them. That's big for them. I just, I'm fine with this. We have things to play with. We just have to be careful not to completely blow this. There's a massive sack. They just talk about us bending too much and then we get a sack. It's like we have to, we have to allow them to do. Cummings, okay. Third and four, they gotta hurry up. They gotta shoot for the end zone now. They can't take little chips. This is, I think, the last play, regardless. And, nope, one more play, but yeah, this is gonna end it. So we are gonna go to the Super Bowl, despite missing our X-Factor running back due to no reason at all. And yeah. Can they make this a closer game than, you know, though? Can Johnson return this? No, he can't. That's fine. And there we go, guys. We won. We're going to the Super Bowl. The question is, who are we going to face? 48, uh, 41, 28. Without our X-Factor running back. You know? It's just that. Still pisses me off, guys. I gotta be honest. I, I, I ranted early because I'm sick of it. I've recorded... Gotta be honest. 22, 23, 24. All without our star X-Factor running back because they just decide... We don't have access to them. Recorded four episodes now where we don't have access to them. Uh, Jake Browning, I guess improviser. He's our third string. Um, I should probably send him and bring up a running back. Uh, Chris Basket. You know, run stock where goes up. Block shedding three. Does he need it? Uh, brings him up to playing up to a 76, so he's a 75. And Drain Eskridge, playmaker. What is his speed? Let me look that up. 92. Okay, so he's definitely not the quickest guy. Okay, I thought it was higher. I thought it was 94 and 95, to be honest. So, obviously, we have one here. Stole the momentum. Everyone gains a bunch. Ton of experience. Uh, feels great. And, uh, obviously, Pro Bowls next week. We will talk about that. We were going to advance the week, guys. Um, we are facing the Buffalo Bills. I, I called it when we played the Bills the final week that we could meet them there. And they did 24-13. They smashed the Bengals. So, honestly, looking at it, Seahawks, Bills, the one NFC seed versus the three AFC seed. But NFC, AFC champions, Buffalo Bills, Seattle Seahawks, guys. Guess we got to look forward to the Super Bowl. We'll go over a Pro Bowl and all that stuff next episode. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, tag out. I want to give a special thank you to all my Patreon members. Urza and Scott, you're amazing. If you guys want to check out Patreon and join it to get a shout out at the end, check Patreon down in the link description below. And you can also, like Scott did, make me re-record this.